Hi friends, very good morning. Uh, uh, welcome back. This is the second day, uh, first day of uh, after demo. <clears throat> okay. Yes, friends. Uh, let's start the session. Yep. Okay. Friends, if you want to work with uh, Java or Selenium, the thing is first we must uh, install Java in your machine. What is the current version of Java in the market? Java 11 is going on. So be supposed to install Java in your mission to work with Java, Selenium or Java dependent any language. We must install Java first of all. So if you download Java, uh, it is getting installed with two components, uh, JDK and JRE. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment. As being as developer, you must be get installed JDK and JRE JDK meant for to develop the scripts, JRE meant for to run the scripts. For customer, for client, he may use only JRE for to run the scripts. We developers, JDK and JRE. The proper files, if you download for the download Java, then these two components are getting installed. Most of the people do the wrong mistake and install only the one component. Sir, my Java is not working proper. Okay, let's try to install Java in your mission. How to search the keyword? Java. SC development kit. SC development kit. Java SC development kit. SC stands for standard edition. Java SC development. E M E N T. Okay. If you search for this, uh, directly it headed to the Java 8 version. Even so many versions came in the market. Still, Java 8 is the top in the market. Every company organization is still using the Java 8 only. So let's try to click on this uh, Java SE development kit 8 download Oracle. Friends, Java earlier it was maintained by the Sun Microsystem. Now it was undertaken by Oracle Corporation. Now Java was under maintained by Oracle Corporation. The version it was downloading is the 8 version. Click on this. See, friends, uh, my Java is a Platform independent programming language. Platform independent means it can be installed in any of the platform. There is no dependencies uh, platform to platform. So my cell, my Java can be work with Linux, Mac, Solaris, Windows. That too based on bit OS. For every OS we having a 32 bit 64 bit like based on the Windows 32 64 bit we have to download. Based on Solaris this one. Based on Linux bit OS like this. Uh, what bit OS for OS you require? You have to select to download that. So before downloading this Java file, sir, we have to accept the license agreement. Accept license agreement. Check this radio button, and you my system is a 64 bit. That's why I downloaded this one. How to check my system is 32 bit or 64 bit? Means sir, just open your Windows, Windows E. One window is getting open. Then right click on this PC. Go to the properties. There you can find a system type is a 64 bit OS. Getting or not? Yes. Seeing by this information, we supposed to download Windows X64. If in the case of Windows 32, Windows X86 is the file we supposed to download. Before doing, we have to check this license agreement. I already checked this. Uh, then download this. Uh, file gets downloaded. Then we have to install the uh, Java in your mission. I already installed Java in my machine. Okay. Once this download is done, we have to click on install. First, the JDK component will be getting installed. Next, asking, do you want to install JRE? Yes, you have to continue installing JRE installation also. Yes, in my mission, friends, uh, Java has already installed. Yes, let me open that Java where it got installed. Okay. Friends, generally, any software you install, it will be comes under the C program files. Okay. In this PC, there is a C drive. Under this, we can see the program files. Under this, with the name Java folder, there we can see JDK and JRE component. I installed Java 8 earlier. That's the reason. JDK 8 version, JRE 8 version is coming. JDK stands for Java Development Kit for developing the programs. JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment for executing the written programs. Yes, Java has installed. I want to validate what is the version of Java installed and, and whether all Java files are got uh, installed properly or not. I want to make sure that. So if you want to make sure that, open the command prompt. 
And first check the what is the version of Java installed. Like putting the command like Java space hyphen version. Then click on enter. It's showing the version name as Java version 1.8.0 underscore 162 is the version it got installed in your system. And next command, I want to check whether Java has installed properly or not. Yes, there is a command called Java C. Java C. Java C, I think, but Java compiler. If you click on enter, the Java related some rows, columns, data, some files are coming. The files are coming means yes, Java has installed properly. Now click on enter. Now, so commands is coming. That's why, yes, then this information is coming like this. Sir. Yes, perfectly my Java has installed. Some cases, sir, some cases will not uh, come these files. Why it is not coming means uh, the Java path, once we install Java, the Java path must be set up. The Java path must be set up. Set up in the Java path uh, in two ways, sir. Uh, one is through console window in a command prompt, you can set that Java path, or another way. We can set the Java path in a system environment variables. Why do you have to set this path? To make sure that my Java was present in this path. If any of the programs supposed to execute, please use the Java compiler to compile this Java codes. For that reason, we have to configure the Java path in a either temporary in a command prompt or in a permanent in a, in a environment variables. Okay. Once we temporarily set up the Java path in command prompt, once we close this command from the path what we specified is a temporary base. So after you exit from the command from the Java path will not known. Once we set up the Java path in a system environment variables, it long lasts for many days. See friends, uh, if, uh, it was set up in the environment variables. That's the reason I'm able to see some commands of Java when I type in the Java C. Let's try to go to the Let's try go to the system environment variables. So let's check where this Java path was set up. How to go to system environment variables? Simple. Windows E. Uh, here this PC will be there on the left side. And this PC, right click on this. Click on properties. Click on advanced system settings in the left side. And click on environment variables button. And see here we can see user defined variables for one tab is there and system variables one tab is there. Here there is a if you scroll down there you can find one path uh, row. You double click on this or you click on edit anything we can do. There you can see my Java path is already set up. C program files Java JDK slash bin. This is the path where the Java has installed. See friends. C Program files, Java, JDK, and bin. Up to here, the path has copied. This binary, Java, bin, path has given here. That's the reason when I was typing command, command C, uh, Java C, the Java libraries are getting loaded. If I remove this, what happens? Just I'm selecting this, I'm removing, clicking on delete. So now click on OK. Now I remove the Java path in the system environment variables. Uh, let's try to uh, do this. Close this command prompt. Again, open command prompt and check for the Java C friends. Now, Java C is not recognized. So, if you want to run any Java programs, the program will not run. Because why? if you want to run any Java program, Java compiler is the must. Without Java compiler, we can't run the course. So, we have to inform that where the Java has installed. Then, based on that bin, Java bin folder path we have given, the Java programs it gets executed with the take help of the Java libraries. How to set up the Java uh, Java path in this uh, system is uh, in two ways. I said one way system environment just now we removed there, and one more we have to set up here command prompt. Let me set in the command prompt how to set the path. Set path equals uh, here we have to give the path of the uh, Java file. Where is that Java install in C program files Java JDK bin up. To here the path supposed to be copy and go to the command prompt and paste it here and click on enter now search for the keyword java c see friends files are coming or not now i'll do one more thing scenario i'm closing this command prompt and once again i was opening command prompt now i was typing java c no i don't know because the path will be exist until this command prompt appear 
So once again, I have to set the path. Uh, then only going to be. Hang on. So every time I have to set the path. Uh, if I close this uh, again, the path is not knowing. I don't want this hectic. Uh, I want to make a permanent solution. I want to. I have a permanent solution to set the drive, uh, Java path. So I, I notice like uh, in system environment variable, if I set the path there, yes, lifelong, the path will be exist there. When server, whenever I open the command prompt and type Java C, all the ways Java files will be getting loaded. Now let's set the path in the command prompt, not command prompt. It's an environment variable, system environment variable. Yeah, advanced system settings, environment variables. There in the system variables, uh, there is a field called path. Uh, double click on this uh, and here click on new to enter this path of Java and your text box paste it here and click on OK. Now we inform the way that Java has installed using the Java install file. The program will be gets executed. Now see, now open the command wrong CMD and type here Java C. Now files are coming or not? Yes. Now, once you close this command prompt, once again you open the command prompt, just type the Java C. Yes, Java C is running on. Yes, all, all the Java related files are loaded without any issue. My Java was successfully installed in my mission. Yes. What next of a Java installation, friends? Yes. I need one environment uh, that's an Eclipse. I need Eclipse. Uh, I need Eclipse uh, to write the codes. To write the codes. Uh, we need an one environment called Eclipse. So I need to download that Eclipse ID. Yes, we how to download. Go to the Google. Yes, go to the Google. Yes, search for, go to Google. Search here for Eclipse. IDE for Java EE. Developers Eclipse ID for Java E developers E stands for enterprise edition. Okay, Eclipse ID for Java E developers. If we search for the keyword, then we can find Eclipse dot Eclipse ID. You click on this, uh, there you can find some packages where we can find some packages. Eclipse ID for um, so J J J for Eclipse ID J uh, Eclipse ID for Eclipse committer eclipse id for cc plus plus okay eclipse id for java scripting eclipse id for scientific eclipse id for php so what type of applications you were supposed to down, uh, develop uh, the corresponding uh, as eclipse ids flavor should be downloaded so if you want to develop the php applications go with the environment eclipse id for php developer if you want to develop the scientific computing such as uh, like programs uh, go with eclipse id for eclipse uh, scientific computing if I want to work with Java I want to develop Java applications uh, go with the selenium ID for Java EE developers absurd here 345 MB is the size in there okay and see here we can see here also based on bitwise if it is a Windows 32 bit uh, click on 32 bit if it is 64 bit it means click on the 64 bit mine is 64 bit uh, just directly click on 64 bit and there we get the download option coming once you click on this download it gets download it's eclipse is not a software friend eclipse is not a software it's an folder structure it's an folder structure it will be once we download it it will be in a form of zip file see here say zip file we have to extract it inside we having some supported eclipse files we need to click on that it will get open one environment called eclipse once you download it how the file is presents let me show you I already installed Eclipse in my mission. I shown you the flow how to go with that. So I already installed, downloaded this Eclipse. If you download it, it will be like zip file. You have to extract it. Once you extract it, it comes like this in a folder. You go inside, go inside the Eclipse. There, this is the icon, blue color icon Eclipse. If you double click on this, one Eclipse environment is getting open. One Eclipse environment is getting open. Yeah, it looks looks like this friends this is the eclipse this is the eclipse 
I already uh, downloaded this Eclipse and I already created some projects also. Okay, okay. If you are first time you are opening means nothing will be available in the left side. See, in the left side package explorer is there. Down we can find some projects are available which I created earlier. For your case, first time if you are opening Eclipse means uh, will not show. It will be everything will becomes as empty. Nothing will be present. You have to create your own structure. This is the environment which we have to make ready. Even if you want to develop the Java codes or uh, if you want to develop the testing codes. Java is the required. And to write the code in environment, it's Eclipse ID is the required. Now what next? Friend, before starting the creating the structure of the project, uh, let me frame you out a uh, uh, structure of the Java. Okay, so APS. So friends, uh, for every programming, for every programming language, any any language uh, they are launching into market means uh, they will be providing one. They are offering some API documentation. Even if you are purchasing the car, also suppose uh, shift LDI, VDI, JDI is there. So each variant having its own catalog. What the catalog contains, its features and specifications are provided in that catalog. Right or wrong? Similar, Java has launched into the market. Means uh, Java has launched into the market. Means uh, yes, they are launching the, they are providing the API documentation, application programming interface. API documentation will be releasing with the with the product launch. So right now, what of the Java we install now? Java 8 version we install in our mission. Yes, for Java 8, Java 8 API documentation is there. If Java 9 we install means, yes, for Java 9 also, a Java 9 API documentation is there. For respect to version, respect to API, API, uh, API documentation is there. Now I install Java 8. Okay, let me, let me open the Java 8 API. Google it. Google it. Yeah, search here Java 8 API. Friends, we have to follow the API documentation. No one is saying to follow these all things because API documentation, it says the specifications, what are the features are available, what class are there, what methods are there, what, with this methods, what we can do. Every help will be there. We must follow this API documentation all the way from starting to ending. Okay. Yes. Make a friendship with API documentation. Okay. Yes. A Java 8 API. Click on enter because I installed 8. That's why I search for the Java 8 API. If you want 9, search for 9 API. See here, friends, for you, Java platform SC8 Oracle Docs. Click on this. This is the API documentation for Java 8. See, friends, Java platform standard edition 8 API specification. See here, we can see three frames we can see. This is first frame, this is second frame. This is the third frame. Like this, we are having three frames available. The first frame, we can see everything as a package. See, java.applet, java.awd, java.awd.color, like this, having a packages. In second frame, we can see that if I click on any of this package, uh, see down some classes, and some interface class are defined under this package. If I click on java.awd, under to this, these many interfaces, is got defined and these many classes got defined. Getting alright? Yes. If you click on any of this interface and class, as right side frame is refreshing with this content. What the link you click for the class thing, right? Right now, this contains this class information. What is this? Uh, where? What is the root for this uh, class? Uh, what in which package it was? Where it is implemented? Where it extended? Description of this class okay alpha composite and what are the fields and what are the constructors all this information coming fields these are the fields available under the class and these are the methods present under this class okay and descriptions really presented so which helps the in getting the information if we go click on java applet uh, they are clicking on applet class uh, so right side gives the applet related uh, information so it contains the nested classes it contains constructors it contains fields it contains methods what are the available under the class every information is source in the 
right side. Okay, friends. Now we came to know to work with the Java project. Uh, first, uh, we have to work with the Java. First, we must create a project. Getting on. Down to the project. What is the next level? We need to create the packages. After the package, what we have to create? We have to create the interface and classes. This is the structure which we have to follow in creating the structure of the Java project. Let's go to the Eclipse, sir. Let's try to create a project. Friends, we can create a project in two ways, sir. One is a Java project, another is a Marvin project. As starting class, sir, let's talk about the Java class, sir. Later on, we'll be uh, working with the Marvin projects. In real time, we work with Marvin projects rather than Java projects. Let me start with creating the basic structure as a Java project. Later, I'll be showing you how to create Marvin project as well. Okay. Yes, friends. Let's try to create a project. Yeah, how to create a project? Go to the file menu. New. 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 There, there will be like a project or we can select the other either of option. We can select to select the create the project. Click the project. And there, there, there is expand this Java folder. This is a Java folder expand here. There we can find the option called Java project. There you can find the option called Java project. Select the option and click on next. Select the option, click on next. Here we have to give the project name. Project name. Microsoft morning batch. I was giving the project name. <coughs> Friends, the project name, what I was giving, it was storing under this workspace D Python project slash the Microsoft morning batch. Friends, the first time if once you open your project for the first time once you are open the eclipse it is asking to create a workspace the workspace is a common shared repository where to organize all your created projects into the common shared repository as my first time i opened the eclipse it will be it has it has asked by the time i have given the workspace location as a d python projects that's the reason when whatever projects i was creating will come under this in this path only if you don't want to this path to show this project what you're creating means uh, just you uncheck this uh, and browse it and give the location where you want to store this project what you're creating now okay yes i'm making as a use default location the project what i created it comes under this workspace if you want to refer go to d drive project for python project under this we can find my project name called durga soft morning batch okay next level Gianni. friends if you want to run the java programs java libraries are must Without Java like this, we can't run the Java programs, right? JRE is referring to what version? SC 1.8. Because why? I installed Java 8 lastly. That's why it's showing as a Java SC 1.8 as a Java library when I was in the project. If I install that Java 9 on top of Java 8, I'm installing Java 9. Once I was creating the project, then it shows as a Java SC 1.9. What is the least recent version I? Install that version Java library is going to show you in this, uh, in this selection. Suppose you're having two to three versions Java is installed, Java 8 installed, Java 9 installed. By default, once we create a project, it refers to the Java 9 as recently installed as a 9. Even 9 has installed. I want to run the projects with Java 8. Just simply you drop down and select whatever you want, Java 9 or Java 8. See. The default compiler compliance level, the current workspace is 1.8. The new project will use the project specification compiler compliance to level 9. So if I use it, because 9 is not installed, that's why it's showing as a warning. So I only install Java 8, that's why by default giving as a Java 8. If you are having more than one compiler Java, then you can drop down, you can select in which compiler my Java is supposed to execute. Okay, now this level is done. Now click on next. Click on next. Click on next. Now, friends, here the basic structure of project got created with Durga Soft Morning Batch and the, the SRC as a dummy, dummy folder got created. 
Yes, yes, this is the structure, basic structure for every project creation. Similar to that, it's going to be generated. Project name down SRC dummy folder. Now we're supposed to add some third party libraries. By default, if you click on library session, we can see Java 8 libraries by default. As I said, by default, every Java project, Java libraries are getting associated to run the Java programs. Yes, by default, Java libraries are there. Some cases, we require some third party dependent jar files to drive my current project. Third party dependent jar files, if you want to work with your current project, means where we have to configure the jar files. How to configure in this library session only? Apart from this jar, we can add third party dependent jar files while clicking on add external jars while well, clicking on add external jars where we have to specify the what are the jar files we require to configure to the current project you select the file and click on open like this we can add the any dependent jar files under this library session we want to add one more library jar file again click on add external jars and specify what what files you want jar files to configure to current project configure like this for time being i'm not configuring anyone default JRL library will be existed. If I'm saying everything, once again, let me remove this. Uh, what I added now. Select these files and simply click on remove. Okay. Only by default, JRL library is there. Make as it is. Later will be adding the uh, rest of add ons. Now click on finish. See, friends, sir, uh, adding the external JAR files uh, during project creation, we can configure the JAR files. After creating a project also, we can configure the JAR files. Let me click on finish. I'm taking default JRL like this. I'm not at all adding any other third party dependencies. Now, see, our project got created on it. Dudga Soft Morning Batch. Yeah. Expand this project. There we can see JRE system library by default is available or not. Yes. And next, SRC is the default folder is there or not? Default folder. Right? Yes. Now, what is the next level? See. The API documentation. I am not saying anything. API documentation is saying everything as per that I was following. See here, friends. Now, I created next. What is the next level? I need to create the packages. I need to create the packages. Friends, creating the package, we have to follow some standards. Outside, many people say like uh, uh, app, uh, Java, uh, some uh, banking, some only simple, simple, simple followings they are maintaining. They are not following any standards. We have to follow some standards we have to follow some standards okay standards are must okay why i'm saying standards are must means uh, you'll feel now once i say this standards uh, in a way okay let me say friends everything you notice the uh, packages are maintaining the form of a dotted structure observe java dot applet java dot editability java editability dot color like this they are maintaining some standards in a dotted structure what it represents dotted structure means uh, Every dotted structure represents as a subfolder. Java is one folder, applet is one subfolder. Java is one folder, applet is one subfolder. Under this applet subfolder, all these interface classes are defined. <clears throat> Friends, even like example, take uh, if you are in your system, it may contain some drives are there C drive, D drive, E drive. Why they are maintained like these drives? And again, C is meant for OA stuff, D is meant for to store the our personal files e is meant for to store the entertainment programs like this we are segregating right or not again entertainment e we are categorizing as a support as a movies again in the movies we are subcategorizing as a uh, english movie telugu movie tamil movie hindi movie like supports we are getting under the movies folder and again in english movie again we are segregating supports as a action movie horror movie romantic movie right like this traditional movies like this we are segregating. Why? Why can't we maintain a single folder? Why we are maintaining separate separate folders means for easy to organize, for easy to access. For the, getting on it. For the region, how we are organizing, maintaining subfolders. Similar to that, uh, giving the package names in daughter structure, internally it represented as a subfolders. Internally, it is representing as a subfolders. We have to follow some standards. And first thumb rule to maintain a project, uh, package is the the package then should be made in a dotted structure. Second thumb rule, it should be starts with a lowercase. And third should be, third should be, 
The starting starting name must be start with a company domain name. What is a company domain name, friends? Suppose if you are working for any company, every company having its own domain name. Suppose talking about the banks, HFCBank.com is domain name. Talking about the ICICA, ICICABank.com, AccessBank.com, right? Facebook.com, VMware.com. Like this, we having a every company having its own domain. With that domain name, we have to represent. Okay, to set a emblem like a yes, this project is a, with a, uh, HDFC Bank. To hold, we are we are working with HDFC Bank to represent the a starting. We are giving as a project uh, domain name as a starting name for the package. Okay, yeah. And first thumbnail is a, should be a dotted structure. Second thumbnail should be a lower case. Third thumbnail we must uh, give the company domain name a starting while creating the package name. Okay, let's try to create a package name, friends. Go to the Eclipse. Uh, select your project. Right click on your project. Right click on your project. New package. New package. Select this package. Yeah, see the source folder. Project name is showing as a project name. And down we can see the subfold as a SRC. And name we have to give the package name. See if I give uppercase below the increase, it is not throwing an error, but throwing a warning. Discourage package name by convention. Package name usually starts with the lowercase. So you must start with lowercase. And second is the dotted structure we have to maintain. Third is the company domain name. Suppose I I was working for the Kotak Bank. So kotakbank.com. Okay. Reverse that domain name com dot Kotak. In this Kotak, I am having a main module called loans. In this loans, I am having the car loans, home loans, education loans, personal loans, like this, having a mortgage loans. So many loans are there. I am giving sub module as a loans. See how simple it was. Under this uh, Kotak Bank, the main module is the loans. Under this car loans, all car loans related functionalities are be maintaining under this car loans folder. See, click on finish. Like this touch is created. Friends, can I create more than one packages? Means see the API document. It is encouraging means you can create more than that. Oh yes, it is encouraging many packages under the Java project. Uh, so our user different project also can contain many packages yes they can create more than one packages friends yeah again if you want to create a package select the project right click on this new package again we have to give the starting from com dot kotak dot loans dot home loans is the unique one you have to give which is common here com dot kotak dot loans is common end of ending part is the uh, we have to change the home loans or personal loans anything you have to do everything in your time. I don't want to type completely. I will tell one workaround. Just select the existing package. Right click on this uh, new package. Then lastly, you can change with the car loans with the uh, home loans. Click on this. Like this, I can create a n number of packages. Right click a uh, new package. I am giving like a uh, educational loans. EDU. L O A N S loans like this in a single project. I can create a number of packages with standards. Complete domain name starts with lowercase and should be a dotted structure. What I said, friends, in maintaining a package in a dotted structure is representing as a subfolder internally. Do you want to show me? Yes, I will show that. Friends, if you know the workspace of this uh, current project, what you're working is well and good, go manually and go and search uh, the structure. If you're not known, so nothing to worry. Select the project. Right click on a project. Go to the properties. And directly location. You can click on this arrow mark location. Directly goes to this project folder. It went on. Yeah, where is this? Yes. It went on. See. The class of modeling batch. Came right. Now if you go here down. There is the SRC. 
SRC folder is there, is there or not? SRC. Under the C files, com is becoming as one folder. Into this down folder, Kotak is one folder, sub folder. Under this loans is one more sub folder. Under this car loans, education loans, home loans are there. See how simple it was. If you want to get the car loans information, go to this uh, car loans and get some information classes. This text under this car loans folder. If education loans, all the education loans related comes under the education loans folder. Home loans comes under the home loans folder. How simple it was to organize things, right? Instead of maintaining everything in a single folder, I am divided into policy is always the best process, right? Instead of maintaining a single container, divided into policy is the best of the bestest process uh, we can follow. That's the region. If the behind the region, we're giving the dotted section for creating packages. The this is the behind the region. Advantage or not? As my outside the people, some of the institute people, they're not following some standards because they are learning and giving the trainings. Okay, that's why they don't follow any rules. We have to follow these standards. Okay, yes. A next level. How to offer the package? What is the next level, friends? Yes. By clicking on this package, you can see the class and interface. Click any of this. Click any of this package. See here, friends. I clicked on the package called okay java.awt.font. Here we, we can see some two interface got defined under this font uh, and many class got defined under this uh, font package. See, while creating the classes interface, we have to follow some standards, friends. See here, the class name standards uh, font render context is there. Font F caps render R caps context C caps. Any n number of words we can give as a class name or package uh, interface name, but every word starts with a uppercase. These are the standards which we have to follow. Even for interface also, multiple master, multiple M caps, master M caps. Getting or not? Yes, let's go to the program and let's try to create the class. Which package you want to create a class? Select that package, right click on the package, new and class new and class see the structure friend source folder is showing their project name sr is the dummy folder and package name on what package you right click the package information showing and the name we have to give the class name so we have to give the standards if you give lowercase see up it is doing a warning type name is a, a discouraging by convention java type name usually starts with uppercase not with lowercase even for package also got the warning once you give the uppercase, right? Yes. So yeah, we must give the uppercase here. Yeah. I'm giving like a first class. I'm giving first F caps class C uppercase. First. Now next see the modifiers. See friends here modifiers by default for every predefined class or for any user defined class, modifier will be the public always. So we'll discuss about the access modifiers and non-access modifiers for coming days uh, within one day or two days. Okay, you will continue about the modifiers also. As for creating the class, we got a term called access modifier. That's a public we are talking. Let me remind this point. Okay, so for every created class or user defined class or predefined class, default class modifier will be the public always. See, by default public is there, right? I will show you in the document also. See, friends, when I was clicking any of this class. See, font render context is a class keyword. What is the access modifier, friends? Public. Click any of this layout path. For this also, default modifier being as a public. As being like existing classes having a public modifier by default for our code, when we are creating our class, it's also, besides uh, public as a access modifier for this class. Default modifier for every class will be the public. Either user defined or predefined. Yes, next, come to next level. Super class, friends. Super class. What is the super class for this first class? Means object class. For understanding, I will say one beautiful example for understanding. Suppose I I ask one of the friend who is in the online uh, friend uh, some uh, Rakesh who is your friend who is your uh, father. What Rakesh says? Father says my father is so and so X Y Z, right? If I go to the X Y Z and ask uh, X Y Z X Y Z who, who is your father? What he says? He says like uh, some ABC, some father. Like this, keep on happening. If I ask the final question, who is the Godfather for every human being? Means what we say? God is the 
object for every human being similar to that in java classes either in the user defined whether it is a predefined the super class always be the object class the boss is the for every class is the object class is the boss for every user defined class and predefined classes as a reason you are creating your user defined class a super class always be the object class friends you are creating one user defined class where you are creating this under this package by a butter first class having one super class we are saying that is a object class that class also will be so come under the one some package right under what package this object class is there in java dot lang package getting on it i will prove that see here friends see this a uh, this a uh, layout path is what is a super class object click any other any other class what is super class for this class object class not only in this package click any of the package i am going to this i am going to this some other some other package i am going for java or little package under this uh, i am i am clicking any of this class see here i am clicking any of this class here error list i am clicking so for this also super class always be the object class observe here a super class with the object class whatever inheritance above parent class are there but end of uh, having the object object class is a super class for every class getting on it yes so for every user defined class default modifier being as a public uh, and a super class always be the object class okay yes now come here so for every programming language uh, we having some main method for every programming language you be having a main method where generally execution starts from there what is the main method in java public static void main string args check this checkbox uh, and click on finish uh, now your class got created friends see here right this is the structure of for creating the class see friends first class is the name of the class this category is of type class and default for default modifier being as in public so we check one checkbox public static void main string args that's a main method came under this uh, class generally execution starts from here right now if we want to print any statement in c language we use the print f in c++ we use the c out in python we use as a print but in uh, java we use a uh, system dot out dot print l is a statement to print the statement okay the beauty of java is uh, no need to type complete statements uh, we can phrase some three four characters uh, and we can give control space complete frame is going to be sort out system dot out dot print ln is a statement to print the statements in java a shortcut uh, in system sys in out out you type like this and click on control space so complete frame came out not only this everything we can call like this suppose i want the first class fir yes control space see coming on suppose exactly with a in a first f f5 in class cl if i go like this f5 cl control space only with the f c started values are coming right this building up the beauty of java is no need to no need to type completely we can write some phrases sir three two three, three characters in each word and give the control space that's it complete frame will be loaded system and out dot print then takes the string argument uh, and printing some a sample message as a hi okay yeah now let's run this code if you want on this code click on play run window show view console window is the output window see friends hi message is coming or not yes hi message coming or not yes this is how we are going to be create the project uh, is how you are creating the package with standards this is how you are going to be create the classes with standards friends we can we create more than one classes i don't want to say i want, want to prove in the documents here friends yes yes many classes are present under this package java util so i also can create uh, many cl classes like this how many classes are there that many classes also we can get there is no limitation how to create one more class select the package and which package you supposed to create a class Select the package 
right click on it new class again giving us second class you the main method see default modifier public will be there and default uh, super class will be the object class and main method you have to check suppose friends sir you are not checking any main method without checking this checkbox main method you are trying to click on finish nothing to worry but you have to type manually right oh i have type manually i missed out so nothing to worry uh, we, there is here also one shortcut is there just type main control space like this structure came on yes very goodness in java is uh, everything shortcuts we can maintain if you want to print a statement means uh, system dot out dot print ln in shortcut sys out control space and giving hello on this code happily it is going to be executed window show view console hello came or not if i execute first class select this and click on play run for first class hi is coming right friends let me know till here any doubt downloading the java installing the java set up in the java path downloading the eclipse creating the project section of uh, uh, java creating the package with the standards creating the class with standards executing the sample program executing a single statement simple statement in java till here any doubt let me know friends any doubts hope today we did lot of things okay need practice something yes do this practice you will be getting this videos in a youtube okay first 10 days you will be getting the youtube okay friends that people who are enrolled while paying the fee you will be getting the uh, videos into your respective personal mails okay if you have any doubts you can uh, watch my videos in the youtube uh, you can in the dukkas of videos okay just practice this structure creating the project package and classes and printing a simple statement in your respective missions just try it in your mission today install all the things and do all this process what we done now friends any doubts if no doubts we are good to stop for today tomorrow will be continuing with the uh, tomorrow will be continuing with the uh, how elaborating the information uh, what is a class what is the interface what is the abstract class all these things are the agenda for tomorrow's procession i'll be showing you once again the structure how to create then we'll be starting with the uh, detail about the class detailly about the interface detailly about the abstract class will be elaborated okay yep Okay friends sir uh, thank you thanks for joining okay we'll meet tomorrow same timing with uh, this agenda what i said now okay thank you friends have a nice day